Hi, my name is Dave Rochford, and I'm a real estate attorney of the law office of David R. Rochford, Jr. My office represents mortgage lenders and buyers and sellers of real estate. You have a house under contract. You've uh, found the, the property that you like. You've made an offer. Your offer has been accepted, and you have it under contract. Now the, the closing process starts at that point. Basically, what the attorney's office does uh, for, the law, for the lender is they, they examine the chain of title to the property. They make sure that the seller has good, clear title to convey on to you. Uh, if they don't have good clear title, the, uh, the attorney's office will work with the seller's attorney or the seller's agent to make sure that they can deliver a uh, clean title and deliver a good deed to the new buyer. Uh, in the closing process also consists of having uh, our office, or the, the uh, closing attorney's office, uh, make sure the property is insured by the new homeowner and it meets the requirements that the lender has requested of the borrower to make sure that they, they uh, stay qualified and have their commitment for the loan. Uh, in the closing process. We call for tax information uh, to the local town or uh, state, make sure state local town uh, taxes are paid uh, or adjusted. Uh, utility charges are adjusted and accounted for and any other charges between the, the buyers and sellers on the property are accounted for. We also take uh, the, the real estate broker commissions and any other fees that the parties are responsible for paying, make sure they're all accounted for on the settlement statement. Uh, then the final process is basically making sure that the, the buyer and the lender provide the funds uh, to our office to make sure that everything is paid at closing. Uh, the closing process actually uh, comes to an end essentially at the closing table where doc documents are signed by the, by the borrower. Uh, the seller signs a few documents, they sign the deed and a couple other disclosures. Uh, the buyer signs a lot more documents, a big stack of documents, the note, the mortgage, the settlement statement and such. Um, all those documents are signed for a reason. The most important ones are the promise to pay, which is the note, the security instrument for the repayment, which is the mortgage, and then there are disclo disclosures. Uh, every lender has a little bit uh, different form of disclosures and a different amount of disclosures to get signed. But mostly you hear about folks going to a closing and spending hours sitting and signing documents, but so most of those are uh, fairy tales for the most part. Uh, a good closing can be conducted in a reasonably short period of time, 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, there is a lot of signing, repeating uh, your name over and over again, signing uh, different documents. But again, the most important ones that you sign at the beginning are the settlement statement, the note, the mortgage, uh, and the truth and lending dis disclosure statement. And everything after that are pretty much disclosures and nothing to be too concerned about, but there are things that the lender needs uh, executed and acknowledged. Uh, basically, those are things to protect the lender's interest in, in the transaction and make sure that the, bu the buyer or the borrower has received the disclosures that they're supposed to receive. Uh, once all the documents are signed, uh, my office makes, the lender's attorney makes uh, disbursement uh, and pays all the parties. They pay the real estate commission, they pay the taxes to the state, uh, they, they pay, pay the seller proceeds to the seller, and they put the documents on record at the Registry of Deeds. That's pretty much the, the closing process in a nutshell.